up with another short one just for you, fam. This one's going to be about um, Rittenhouse, Rittenhouse Buddy. Some white guy there, he's a Christian guy. He's calling for the nuclear, <laughs> the nuclear holocaust of American cities, Washington, D.C., and New York City. He said, those are the worst places in America. They need to be fucking limited. This is what he said, right? And we said this here, it was, um, it was a guy who got a nice show there, and um, it's a black show, they talk black news and things like that. But what I um, disagree with these so-called black news channels on YouTube, they're always fucking pro-Democrat. Most of them, 95% is pro-Democrat, right? So this young man, um, this young white Caucasian Christian dude, want these cities to be nuclearized, want Russia to drop the bomb on his cities here. And these black Democrats are very upset. Very upset. Talking about the right, the right, um, the right wing and um Trump. I guess he's um he supports Trump and talking about um if you support Trump, you are racist. If you're a black person and you support Trump, you are racist too, and all this shit. That's like, God damn, these Democrat lap dogs, you know what I'm saying? They're so um obedient. And loyal to their master, the Democrats, you know what I'm saying? But it was we're talking about someone else. But what are the Democrats are doing these past few years? They've been in, but two and a half years, something like that. Now they've been inside the office. Has done a goddamn thing. Especially did a goddamn thing for you Democrat lapdogs. Ain't do shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Ain't do shit. That's why um, in two more years the elections come, these Democrats is fucking done. They know they done. They got no fucking body. Biden is fucking finished. What is he done? He's done nothing at all. He's done things for the um, other immigrants coming out here, LBGTQ community, the Asians, every goddamn thing. But you dumbass black Democrat lap dogs. You know, looking bad, you know, looking bad, looking like little runts, you know, looking like um little sick puppies, always begging for some shit. We want this. We didn't get this here. This race has got this here. But while we get no crime bill, while we get no reparations, they got money. What the hell you think? Don't do a goddamn about you. That's what they're telling you. Always over to your goddamn face. No matter what you want to sit here and project out to the world on YouTube all those racist presidents. And I say, what fucking president was not a racist? Tell me that, dear, huh? Tell me, hmm? Yeah, I thought so. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to act like now certain things are supposed to change, you know? What well, I can say about the Trumpster? You know, he's a little open about it, but it's stuff here. He's having some racist things. So he said, oh, he called Obama the N-word in one of his offices. So the fuck what? <laughs> I don't give a goddamn sword. Maybe he did say it. I didn't hear him say it, understand? I'm not going to go by no speculation. When someone said, I heard Obama say, um, I mean, Trump called Obama a monkey or an ape or some kind of stuff like that. Nah. Until I hear Trump come on God didn't ask TV and say, fucking you, you black niggas, <laughs> you know, you monkeys, you porch monkeys, some shit like that. Then I said, bump, there you go. Oh, now I hear that bullshit. Hmm. Especially, like a lot of black people always come to shit the devil's edge to. You know, if a white person says, um, a derived word, N word, or where the fuck is the he say some stupid spurt out, you know, oh, he's racist. Oh, oh, oh. How many times you hear black people talk about white people? Whatever, honky cracker, fucking redneck, whatever, whatever kind of, any kind of shit there. You know, but it's like, kept low, 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 low. We all ain't shit in this fucking world. <laughs> Understand, <that? laughs> This is the truth. We all ain't shit in this goddamn world. You know what I'm saying? We're all individuals. We start putting all these groups, all this unity and all this shit that we come together, shit there. That's the shit fucks up, you know what I say? Because everyone doesn't have the same goddamn mind. Everyone that, Supports Trump is not a racist. How you gonna say that? And I tell you like this, even for the East Coast, you grew up with Trump since the fucking eighties. We see the goddamn day this dude here. So he knows his um his style, you know what I'm saying? But I can say also this here, you keep calling him racist in there, but Joe Biden is not a racist. Your Uncle Joe, the one y'all voted in, Uncle Joe, you know what I'm saying? The problems of this country right now is just is caused, has been caused by the women, by the women of this country. The Latino women and black women. That's why we're in the fucking shambles we're in right now. Why? Because y'all was the majority and y'all push it, get fucking on um, that um little East Indian, whatever fuck she is, um, vice president 
You know, y'all want to get it so bad, the first woman there. You know, Uncle Joe wouldn't have gotten there. Y'all, Uncle Joe wouldn't have got inside there. He's losing. He know Devil's going to lose unless he got a goddamn black woman, you know, to vote on the side there to get his, um, how you say, his ratings up. You know what I'm saying? All he did was use you dumb fools. You know what I'm saying? He used you black fucking people like a goddamn fucking uh, carpet or a used fucking condom. He used you. He ain't did a goddamn thing for you, but he wants to sit here and come on goddamn on internet and talk about Trump. He's been in office for two years now. He's, he's gone now. You know what I'm saying? But he'll be back 2024. Watch. <laughs> I'm telling you, watch. Oh, no punk say. You know what I'm saying? But Joe ain't do a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? All they hide the scandals and all this shit there. Just imagine he was a black president with a crackhead son, smoking crack on fucking um FaceTime and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Now all that was Obama son some shit. That shit been in the news every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? They up in the hush and them Democrats people in the hush hush. I don't see you black Democrats talking about that neither. You know what I'm saying? Crackhead got them dude in the White House still you know saying on video shows this shit here. Phone some crack pipes next to the president's son. No one says a goddamn thing about that shit, dog. Hmm. The fuck out of there. Y'all need to stop this bullshit, you fucking black Democrats. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are fucking done. No, y'all. This election last time proved how fucking stupid y'all are. You know what I'm saying? Y'all keep voting for them every year, 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 year. Because y'all, y'all are so loyal to the Democrat Party. We haven't done a fucking thing for you. And we want Trump, he said before he was getting elected, he said, oh, they're not doing a goddamn thing for you. Well, why not give me a chance? And why the fuck not? What y'all gonna get? Y'all ain't getting nothing for no fucking y'all Uncle Joe. You know what I'm saying? He don't like you motherfuckers. Y'all like the, um, the nephews and nieces he really don't want. Y'all nothing to do with y'all motherfuckers. And that's what the fuck it is. No matter what y'all say, he's not with us. He proved that shit from the fucking 70s, 80s. He's been for office for 47 fucking years. Almost 50 years. He said before he wants kids to go to school with black people, it's going to turn into a jungle. But you dumb blacks still vote him in. When they show what the fuck or stuff he said. Hmm? Y'all still got him in. Y'all ain't give a goddamn. Stop worrying about how, to, how America is right now. Because y'all ain't give a goddamn two years. Y'all put his ass in. All y'all want to do is get a woman vice president's idea. And, um... This stupid dude, Joe Biden, you know what I'm saying? Especially black ones. Y'all the real fucking ones. I'm going to call y'all out. Not the Latino women, because they got the power now. But you little black ones out there. Black black Democrat women out there. Y'all have got them calls to this shit. Y'all want to come uh, inside this so much. The one who's locking people up for 20 years for marijuana and shit like that. While she smoked marijuana. huh? They even said she even slept her way up to the goddamn way up to the White House now. She was in California and said she was fucking everybody in there. <laughs> that was she was working with. You know what I'm saying? Get the hell out of here. Y'all want it so bad. Why? Because she had brown skin. They go, oh, she's the first African American um vice president woman. She's not a fucking African American. Get that bullshit. She's Indian. Her father's some Jamaican dude or some shit. Look at that fucking there. Y'all black people always, especially black people, always trying to um coexist with someone else, you know? Coexist with someone else. She is not no goddamn fool about you. Look at her. Look at her hair. All you black girls out there, take your wig off or your weave and see if your hair is straight. You no, know, like like a fucking like an Indian hair, like like um Camilla Harris here. She's not you. So stop being. Oh, we got the first first black woman there. No, she has nothing to do with you dumb fools. Huh? There's not gonna be a Pamela inside that motherfucker. Michelle Obama no fucking. Oh, go for it right now. <laughs> Y'all are goddamn done. They need to stop that shit. Always trying to fucking exist with someone else just because they're black. The same thing went on with that um, Megan Merkel. With Megan, yeah, Megan Merkel shit, yeah. The little biracial girl who married, um, I think Prince Harry. Yeah, Prince Harry, yeah. Oh, we got, she's, she's royalty. She's up in, 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 um, in England now. They, they was all happy to talk about it because... So, oh, she's a black girl, this and that, yeah. Bullshit, she's a fucking biracial girl. My father's goddamn black. You are what your father is, they say sometimes in the Bible, right? Okay, put it that way. That queen was having that shit there. She got a fucking black ass out of there, you know what I'm saying? And a little half fucking black baby or her, whatever, the, the three, two-quarter white baby out of there. They got to make sure they get the fuck out of there. They ain't playing that shit out there, fam. You see his brother, they brought a nice virgin white girl in there. Probably was, and got married. They, they embraced that shit. But no, but his little brother brings in some um, mulatto from Hollywood, an actress 
who probably been ran through two a couple of times. I'm sure the um, the, ki- the queen that puts some private investigators out and got her background said, oh, this bitch a whore too. Goddamn, get him out of here. <laughs> Definitely. Well, anyway, fam, that's my little short one. But like I say, this dude called for cities in America, Washington, D.C., and New York City just to be fucking obliviated. You know, he wanted the Russians to drop nuclear bombs on us and shit like that, right? So, yeah. But they say he's a Trump supporter, so... He's a racist. Everyone support him is a racist too, and this and that. That's not the goddamn point. This is this is American dude. He feel that um, these cities should be fucking deleted, right? But the whole thing about the dude um on this black news channel there, he won't call him racist. This is racist. This racist. That. But he ain't say not one racist thing. He said he call. He said it wouldn't be so bad if Washington D.C. or New York got fucking um. Take it off the goddamn map. He didn't say I want all blacks or so Latinos or Asians take off the map of nuclear bomb. He said the whole goddamn city. And I'd say like this here, these cities are uh, predominantly white people. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh, mixed with other people. There ain't just no full all black people. On the channel, I'm trying to say fam. So therefore, these dudes need to stop trying to kick this rhetoric shit. You know, because they know Democrats are fucking... Losing, looking real fucking bad now. They know 2000 fucking what I'm 24. These dudes is done. Who gonna vote for a Democrat? Uh, I can't say that. You you loyal Democrat lap dogs, y'all gonna be out there vote for again. Democrat. <laughs> and I'm out for that piece.